Hello everyone, this is TechWizKid and welcome to Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're going to be doing a short hop flight from uh, the southern coast of Rhode Island, a city called Westerly, this is Westerly State Airport, into uh, Block Island, which is an island off of the southern coast of Rhode Island. It's a really quick flight, I think total time is about five to eight minutes, something like that. Um, we're going to be doing this flight, taking off from Westerly into Block Island. Uh, this is um, something that happens, I think it's about every 30 minutes or so, and it's uh, with a plane very similar to the Cessna uh, C-208B that I have here. Uh, hopefully that guy doesn't run me over. I wish our plane was facing the other way, and unfortunately this airport does not look like they have push-off services, so it gets a little bit weird. Um, so I may run into the guy when I want to turn around, but um, just keep that in mind. So, what we're going to be doing is just a quick uh, pre-inspection uh, checklist. So for starting engine, we're going to set both of the uh, fuel tank selectors to on. Bada bing, bada boom. Igni engine ignition selectors. Uh, these are oh, setting the camera back to normal. Uh, we're going to set to norm. I think it's already on norm, so it's good. Yes, it is. Uh, power level we're going to set to idle. So right now it's on. Oh, wrong one. Power level. Idle. Good. And the prop RPM lever we're going to go to max RPM. Good. Uh, to start the engine, we're going to put our battery switch to on. And it should pull up our. It's our first couple of avionics, I believe, or not yet. Oh no, we have those off. All right, we're gonna set our beacon lights to on. Good, avionics number one switch, we turn that on. There we go. Fuel boost set to on. Normal and on, good. Uh, starter, set to on, start this guy up, make sure the fuel condition leather is in high idle, low idle, once it starts up here, and we're going to wait till NG is over 12. to low idle. Good. ITT should be 1090 max for two seconds. Put that on. It's good. NG needs to be over 52%. And that's right here. We're at uh, 80%. Good. And turn the starter switch to off. Good. normal there. Uh, standby power we're going to put to... oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. I need that. Standby power. Starter is off. Fuel boost we're gonna put back to normal. Perfect. We're gonna switch to this on. I'm sure the parking brake is set. It is currently on. Good. Strobe light needs to be on. Good. And parking brake released. I'm gonna change, uh, as you can see on my screen in front of me here, we're currently on VR mode. We're gonna change that to CDI mode. And what I'm gonna do is see if I can just zoom out just a little bit here. Oh, zoom in. And just a little bit. Okay, now we can pin it. But we have a, a short flight today. Like I said, it's just going to an island right to the southern coast of Rhode Island. 
and what we're doing is we set a waypoint out on the western uh, end. Wow, there's a lot of planes out um, of um, I can't really show it, but it's at the western end of the island so that we can come in on runway 28. Um, all right, that's fine. We're gonna say those checklists are complete. Uh, there is a couple of uh, planes there. Unfortunately, the Block Island one doesn't um, respond when we talk to the tower at Block Island. But we're gonna go ahead and talk to our traffic. And <coughs> we'd like to announce a taxi. Good. Get our arrows somewhere. We don't already. Yeah, see, I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't like that. And we're gonna say runway 14. I'll try this again to see if this works. Alright, so no taxi signals yet, but might be because we're not actually moving yet. Um, I have to power through a uh, oh, parking brake is still set. Gonna turn that off, get our yoke visible. Okay, turn around. Typically you'd get pushed back, but I'm not currently able to, so unfortunately it's not super realistic, but that's all we can do. All right, so now we have our taxi guidelines here. So we're going to go ahead and follow this taxi right here. A little bumpy. And this plane really does not turn very well. It's a super wide radius for a turn here. So we're going to go ahead and come down. I've also noticed that in some of these smaller airports, the traffic just simply doesn't care that you exist. So it's just going to keep going by. And I think that's just because it's not a it's doing it from the air, so it typically wouldn't matter, but unfortunately it makes it slightly annoying to navigate here. Uh, and then also typically we would be checking with tower that we're clear to cross this runway, but it looks all clear, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And our runway is way down at the other end. I don't know why uh, our taxi guidelines just disappeared. That's fine. I'm just going to tell them we're going to runway 14 again. No. I'm not. I'm taxiing to runway 14. 14. And then there we go. Kilo Whiskey Sierra go. Tango traffic says that Alpha Sierra is Little glitchy. Golf Sierra is taxiing to runway 14. Okay. Slow down a bit just because this turns a little tough. using my little virtual simulated screen there to kind of get myself aligned on these taxi guidelines just because it's again this thing is like does not like to turn at all um, I did notice it takes a little while to get up to the proper speeds but we're pretty lined up here that was close enough and we're going to be departing south So hopefully that means we're approved, because again, can't tell. We're going to set our flaps to take off, just about 20%, I believe. Take off, here we go. And our rotate speed is uh, 75 knots, uh, 75 to, or 70 to 75 knots here. Uh, and once we take off, we're going to, typically you would go back down to 10%, but when I use my, um, my flaps control, it kind of skips percent for whatever reason so I'm just gonna wait till I'm above the 95 knots and then switch to zero flaps so we're gonna take off and I'm going to preset on my um, 
GPS or my navigation system here, I'm going to put it on nav mode, which means it's going to follow uh, this magenta line out that we set. I have a waypoint out, like I said, to the western part of Block Island. And we're also going to set it to vertical speed mode. That's going to set our climb rate. And we're going to climb at 600 feet per minute, I believe is what the um, timeline thing is there. So as soon as we're comfortable or we're out of the runway area uh, and cleared it, we're going to go ahead and pop on autopilot. I may not do it here because I have a button uh, in my system or on my um, Elgato Stream Deck that I might push instead. Uh, but that should get us uh, pretty much the most way there. Click here. All right. And we're releasing the brakes now. We're going to go full power. So it's between 70 and 75 knots for the rotate, so we can rotate now. Rotating. And this is a comfortable climb rate. As soon as I hit over approximately 90 knots, I'm going to retract my flaps here. It's a little button weird because I had to take my hand off the uh, stick here. Let's just turn us slightly to the right for our climb. And then this is where I'm going to set, uh, keep us kind of going on the setting here. We're going to set the autopilot to on. And we're going to drop down our power here to get us in the proper RPMs. Like I said, we set a vertical climb rate of 600 feet per minute. Uh, looks like my nav mode turned off. Uh, do not, yeah, I actually didn't select an altitude. So, uh, do, do, do. We're going to go to 1,500 feet, and then we're going to increase our vertical speed. Altitude mode is on. We're going to turn on vertical speed mode, and we're going to go to 600 feet per minute. Like I said, it's going to take us out to a runway out on the western tip of Block Island. And we're going to go to find our list here, Block Island State. And we're going to be landing runway 28. And so we're a little bit closer. Uh, we're non nine nautical miles away now. So we're going to increase our altitude a little bit, probably up to 2,000 feet. But as soon as we reach it, we're probably going to have to go back down. over here this is actually block island there uh, the runway is somewhere over here and what we're going to do is we're going to come in on a waypoint around here and bring in the left hand pattern uh, to land on the runway the landing speed of this craft is about 85 75 to 85 knots i found that the um the landing pattern help system built into flight simulator it kind of puts things a little bit too slow so it's just going to say i'm going too fast but um it's actually fine. I'm just going to be slowing down a little bit now. Actually, let me give us some more here. Uh, looks like because we reached our altitude. Oh, it's still on. That's interesting. Uh, so we have too much. 2,000. Uh, vertical speed mode is what we want. Pretty much as soon as we're getting there, we're going to have to drop back down anyway. You can see I have a waypoint set to right here. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and contact tower. And say we're landing runway 28, sorry, is what it is. And we're doing a full stop landing. And we're going to announce our position.
Right, so that's going to be our approach pad on there. So we're going to come in, uh, swing a left hand turn down to the runway. I believe you can start seeing it right there. Um, so as soon as I kind of get past this waypoint a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and turn off uh, autopilot here. I no longer need that. We're going to take manual control here and start banking us uh, to the left. I'm also going to start cutting back on some power. And pretty much as soon as we get into those first rings, we're going to go ahead and deploy flaps to help us land. And for this aircraft, I believe, you might get a zoom because I'm checking the checklist on my other screen here for descent, uh, for normal landing, full flaps, 75 to 85 knots. This also does have a, a reverse thrust system that we're not really going to utilize because we don't need to this runway is plenty long enough. And there's Block Island there. It's actually really cool. Uh, we usually, uh, I don't tip, I've never taken a plane uh, there, uh, but there's a ferry that goes uh, about every hour to Block Island from uh, the southern coast of Rhode Island. Um, or if you have friends with a boat, that's also nice too. Um, it's about an hour trip by boat, um, so it's much, much shorter on a plane. And I believe even like the high speed ferry that they offer is only, I believe it's a half hour. Oh, we've got some traffic over to our right. I don't know if you can see that on our system there. Um, maybe we can look around a bit so we can see them. I don't see them right now, but it's back in our camera mode here. Like I said, as soon as I get into uh, these rings here, I'm going to deploy our first sliver, uh, layer of flaps. And usually by the time I get to uh, right around here, I want to start getting down to uh, my appropriate speeds. So I want to be about like 85 knots-ish uh, while I'm there. Again, these red rings are going to say that I'm going too fast, but I've done this approach quite a few times now, and um, uh, this... Uh, plane is able to slow down really quickly after landing and I don't have any issues stopping so I'm just going to go ahead and not listen to these um, flight things here. I'm just kind of just getting used to this approach so I can try to do it without these landing uh, indicators at another time. And as you can see we're off the little magenta line but that's just because um, with uh, visual flights, it uses the GPS, so it's just going to tie you right to that airport. It's up to you to do the actual proper um, landing procedure. So we're going to—that's why we can't continue to do nav mode. And I'm not comfortable enough yet with um, instrument f uh, IFR flights um, to set my instruments properly. So um, now that we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and, and increase flaps one setting. So put us to the 20%, and yep, yeah, we're at the cut us back down there. Should have known that was going to happen. And we're going to cut our power. You can hear cut it down pretty low. Like I said, we're right around <coughs> 90 knots. And even this is appropriate for here, for this descent. And when I get to uh, right before I'm about to turn on to final, I'm going to get uh, extend full flaps. Like I said, what I found is um, these things put you at your full landing speed of like 75 or 70, like way out here, which by the time you get down to the proper descent level, it's not. Um, it's much, much too fast. So at this point, I'm going to pretty much cut all power here. And as soon as I straighten out, I'm going to get us to full flaps. There it is here. I'm going to extend flaps up. Give us some more lift. It slows down quite a bit. And usually around here, yep, I was going to say it starts uh, turning blue because I'm going 80. It also ends up being a little bit too slow. And that thing right in front of us actually is where the ferry comes in, interestingly. Um, Wondering if there's like a pack you can get for this. I'm just going a little to bit too fast for my liking. I'm gonna slow this down just a bit more. I kicked it up here. 
and that is the appropriate speed now. I'm at full idle now. And while that's going here, yep, uh, we're on final. Too slow. A little bit too slow for me right now. See what I mean when you follow those things? It seems to be a little bit too slow for me. Also, notice it was coming like at an angle like this. Okay, so this is probably good. I'm going a little bit too slow for my liking. Getting into stall territory, which is a little concerning. We're going to turn in here. And we're going to flare up here. Alright. Wasn't the most smooth landing, but we'll take it. We're going a little bit too fast for that taxiway. I'm going to this next one here. Because this is a. Uh, As soon as we're off the runway, we're going to announce we're clear of the runway. Get into a parking spot here. Kilo Bravo, India Delta traffic, Cessna Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra is clear of the runway. Good. And then we're going to go ahead to some parking spots to our right there. I'm just going to pull up into one of those guys. Oh, I accidentally set my brake. Okay. Back down to idle here. Pull up on one of these guys. Wait for this van to pass us. Thanks, van. Being a real jerk. We're going to ignore that van. <laughs> so he sees me there. Can barely see him. So I'm go to the left a little bit. And stop. And good. So. For some reason I notice sometimes it doesn't uh, give you like the correct indicators. So let's see if I go forward a bit. Is it gonna pop up with them? Mm, no. Okay. That means the flight's not gonna end properly most likely, but that's fine. Um, so now that we're landed, we're gonna go ahead and put our flaps uh, back up and we're going to uh, set our parking brake here. Perfect. And after landing, Get rid of that. We're gonna have a shutdown sequence that we want to do. Uh, parking brake is set. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the avionics. So the next one is off. That is off. Uh, standby power. That's already off. Good. Uh, fuel boosts. We're going to set to off. Uh, bleed air, ventilation, vents, and air conditioner. So our bleed air is here. Hope that bleed. Uh, if this plane worked, we would be able to uh, bleed through here. Uh, but we cannot. We cannot vent it. So that stinks. But it is what it is. Uh, we're going to vent. It's an op. But oh, wait. There we go. Set that to ventilate. Perfect. Uh, we're going to turn our inverter off. Oh, 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 oh. I always do that. Which, where is the... Uh, I never found the inverter, actually, on this guy. Um, so I don't know where that is. Uh, power lever, we're going to set to idle. So, right now... There we go. Good. Propeller, we're going to set to feather. Good. Fuel condition lever we're going to set to cut off. Fuel shut off. Just shut down our engines. And typically if we had um, got the nice um, landing kind of boxes, which usually it does, um, 
that is when the game would kind of show a, a flight sequence completed thing, but it's not there. Uh, we're going to set oxygen to off. It cannot, it's inoperable. Um, all of our lights, strobes, beacon lights, we're going to turn those off. Controls, don't need to. Fuel tank selectors, we're going to set them both to off. Lock the fuel out. Um, we don't have any tie downs and shocks. Fuel filter is good. And uh, by this point, people have been uh, disembarking. I don't know if this is the appropriate spot I'm supposed to park. I mean, the guy kind of flagged me in, so I think that's fine. But um, that was just a short flight, like I said, from Westerly Rhode Island to uh, Block Island. It's a, a very quick flight. They typically run these uh, 30 minutes every day, um, or every 30 minutes they're doing another flight. Um, this game has been a lot of fun so far. Um, I have a SciTech Aviator 01. Um, that's the joystick that I'm using. It's not perfect as a twist rudder, but good luck trying to find a joystick and everything right now. Uh, it's something I bought years and years ago. Um, I'm hoping I can do some uh, some more of these videos. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I believe what I'm going to do is I'm primarily practicing right now taking off from Westerly into Block Island with that approach. Uh, I think I'm also going to do the reverse approach as well and try to come in from uh, go from Block Island to uh, Westerly and kind of do those flights. There's a, a mod you can get called FS Economy that lets you uh, do these kind of charter flights and stuff to make money. Um, so that seems like it might be pretty fun to do. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.